because it is Listen said that most postmoderns would love you know to dance so they don't have on the best of the week for the talents maybe yeah that's no. a good question in the welcome to energy i am your host adela chakoto and welcome to the second part of our the world as it is topic Last week we were talking about signs, symbols, and trends. Today we will be talking about the power of music. And we will be uncovering the underlying secrets of the contemporary world. In the studio here to help me is Pastor Saned Lubani, and he will help us understand how powerful music is. And we will look at some examples of some uh, songs and some, some quotes as well. Welcome, Pastor. Thank you so much, Adela. Now, today we would like to talk about the power of music. And we know that this music is said to be universal. It's what keeps us together. Um, you know, you have sermons and the like, but if, uh, if a sermon is being preached to a different audience, you know, that audience may not listen. But once someone stands up there to play an instrument, uh, sing, you've got everybody's attention, no matter where you come from, yes. where you've been. Mm -hmm music is is just uh, keeps us united and uh, makes us one people and i do recognize that for teens music is is uh, very very powerful uh in church i must admit as well that even sometimes i shut down during sermons but once someone stands up to sing or once someone stands up to to play an instrument you know you've 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 got my attention and that's the same for almost every other teen yes. um not just in malawi but everywhere mm. yes. and i'll just like to share some quotes with you uh, that talk about the the power of music uh we've got a uh, hunter s thompson who mm -hmm. said music has always been a matter of energy to me a question of fuel mm -hmm. sentimental people call it inspiration mm -hmm. but what they really mean is fuel mm -hmm. I have always needed fuel. I am a serious consumer. On some nights, I still believe that a car with a gas needle on empty can run about 50 more miles if you have the right music very loud on the radio. And he's just talking about how powerful music, music is. is. Mm. In fact, if you look at uh, his uh, quotation, what, what he said, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you'll find that he's telling us mm -hmm. that music, as we know it in its science, mm -hmm. It is a vibration. Yes, it is. And since music is a vibration, it has a tendency of calling for a relationship. Mm -hmm. Because the melody, the rhythm, mm -hmm. and the harmony, mm -hmm. all these unite. Mm -hmm. When they come together, mm -hmm. they look for a relationship. Mm -hmm. And simply because, say, for example, of the rhythm, which is natural in the music. Yes. Already before you even you know, think about it, mm -hmm. you're already responding. Yes, you are. You know, you know, yeah. by, you know mm -hmm. okay. <laughs> Okay, so music has that particular vibration. And uh, those who have also studied how people respond to music, it is found that music is also able even simply to bypass the frontal lobe of our brains mm -hmm. and goes direct into our subconscious. Mm. So you can see that uh, whatever he's saying about, you know, sentimental people calling music, you know, inspiration, mm -hmm. And he's saying it's a question of fuel mm -hmm. and it can even take you somewhere. Mm -hmm. That simply shows you how powerful and influential music is. And this influence is inevitable. You can't avoid yeah, it. Yeah, you can't. You can't. And then the second quote uh, comes from Marilyn Manson. Mm -hmm. And uh, he says, music is the strongest form of magic. Mm -hmm. And uh, if we remember last week, uh, yes. there was a certain picture in the corner. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was one of the, the, the people, I think he's head of uh, the Church of Satan, yes, yes, if, yes. if that's what they call uh -huh. it. And so clearly, if he's the head of the Church of Satan, mm -hmm. then obviously, if he says music is the strongest form of magic, mm -hmm. then probably that's the tool that they're using mm -hmm. to, um, to um, captivate or to, to uh, draw, draw us uh, into whatever it is that they're doing. And so that's what we really want to talk about today. And uh, if you also analyze what Manson is saying mm -hmm, there, mm -hmm. and the influence that music has you know, on our mind and at the end of the day on our behavior, mm -hmm. and this being the well-known herd, or I can say one of the co-founders of the satanic church in the world, mm -hmm. you can really see that Satan is also using music mm -hmm. in order 
to be successful in his crusade in bringing together people yeah. so that at the end of the day they would lose their salvation. So this is not strange. It's, it's not. Yeah. And I would just like to say, uh, maybe our viewer may be sitting there wondering, okay, mm -hmm. you're just mentioning music. What kind of music? music yeah. Yes. So uh, let's maybe just quickly go through different genres of music. Mm -hmm. um, what, what are we talking about when we, when we just say music? Mm -hmm. And uh, how can you... Um, contribute to, to okay. that. Yeah. Um, in terms of genres, uh, there are different genres of music. Mm -hmm. Okay, We have what we call Christian music mm -hmm. and there is also what is known today as Christian contemporary music. Yeah. There is reggae music, there is rock, there is R&B mm -hmm. and all these. But um, I don't want to talk in, in that line. I want to put all these genres together mm -hmm. into forms. Okay. okay? The first form which I'd like to share with you is what we call pure Christian music. Pure Christian music is uh, music which is Christian in every aspect, okay? In its melody, mm -hmm. rhythm, the, okay? harmony. the harmony, the theology, mm -hmm. the message mm -hmm. is in line with what the Bible says, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. So this is Christian music. Say, for example, Amazing Grace. Mm -hmm. It's a very beautiful song. The melody, the rhythm, the harmony, the message is purely biblical. Okay? We also have music which we can call eclectic music. Eclectic music, it means it, it combines, you know, different aspects. Okay? It, say, for example, it can be a, music, a, a type of a song with a secular rhythm, okay. melody, mm -hmm. secular harmony. Mm -hmm. But the message is completely secular mm -hmm. okay or say for example it can have a message which is christian but melody and the rhythm is secular secular mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. but there is also songs which are purely secular okay. now the bad thing with these uh, uh, songs or types of music which are completely secular there are some who sing these songs mm -hmm. but they'll borrow christian words mm -hmm. Okay? The borrow Christian words, mm -hmm. if you're not careful, you may think that he's singing eh, Christian music. Yeah. But he's using these Christian words to send forth a message which, which is completely explicit, mm -hmm. message which is completely evil. Mm -hmm. So I, I have an example okay. uh, of uh, Bruno Mars's Locked Out of Heaven. Mm -hmm. I'll just read it quickly. It uh -huh. says, never had much faith in love or miracles. Mm -hmm. Never want to put my heart on the line. Mm -hmm. But swimming in your world is something spiritual. Mm -hmm. I'm born again every time you spend the night. Because your sex ta takes me to paradise. Mm -hmm. Yeah, your sex takes me to paradise. Mm -hmm. And it shows, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because you make me feel like I've been locked out of heaven for too long, for too long. Mm -hmm. And uh, this part is very um, interesting. Mm -hmm. You bring me to my knees. You mm -hmm. make me testify. Mm -hmm. You can make a sinner change his ways. Mm -hmm. Open up your gates because mm -hmm. I can't wait to see the light. Mm -hmm. And right there is where I want to stay. This is a pure example mm -hmm. of a secular song mm -hmm. using Christian terms. Mm -hmm. But the man is talking about sex. Mm -hmm. Say for example where he says... But swimming in your world is something spiritual. spiritual. Mm -hmm. Okay, you, if you just listen to that word, you may think that he's talking about something good, a yeah. very good you know, spiritual experience. Mm -hmm. And he goes again to say, I'm born again every time you spend the night with me. Mm -hmm. Now, if you look at John chapter 3, mm -hmm. you find that Nicodemus went to Jesus Christ when? At night. Mm -hmm. And he brings about the word born again in the night. Yes. Which quickly takes you to John chapter 3, mm -hmm, Jesus mm -hmm. Christ and Nicodemus. Yeah. But when you move to the next stanza where he says, Because your sex takes me to paradise, that's when you realize you say, Ah, ah. Mm -hmm. So this man is using Christian terms, but he's talking about sex. Mm -hmm. And just imagine that's so blasphemous where he says, Where he says, um, about, He talks about being born again. Yeah. You know, how can one. Being born, uh, be born again when you are, you know, having casual sex, mm -hmm. careless sex. Mm -hmm. And he says, you make me testify. Mm -hmm. You can make a sinner change, change his, his ways. ways. Already he's talking about sex, which is sinful. Mm -hmm. And he is not talking about marriage within this, uh, sex within the marriage bounds. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. He's talking about sex outside marriage, which is 
fornication. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And this kind of, 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 of making sex to be, to be to, not to be sinful, mm -hmm. making it okay, mm -hmm. has flooded the music world like nobody's business. Mm -hmm. Because there is this song which was sung by this musician known as Sierra. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Sierra talks about uh, riding. She says, if they like the way I ride it. Mm -hmm. Okay, if you're just listening uh, to this song mm -hmm. on your MP3 pl player, you may think that she's talking about riding a horse. Mm -hmm. But watch the video. Look at whatever she's doing. Mm -hmm. You realize that she is talking about sex. Mm -hmm. And she says, they like the way I ride it. They, prulo, it means to say there are multiple multiple partners, which means that this type of music can even influence the youth to be very, very um, loose yeah. as far as having sex is concerned, mm -hmm. because it makes it right to have many sexual partners mm -hmm. or even to use Christian words mm -hmm. to talk about sex. Mm -hmm. And I would just like to say that even though these singers may not be the writers of the songs, uh, we find that most of these singers, uh, these secular artists, uh, they have their songs written by someone else. But the fact that they take that song mm -hmm. and re-sing it mm -hmm. still brings out a message mm -hmm. that uh, they are probably part of it. And maybe they may not even know what they're singing, they may not understand. Yes. But once, if you repeat something, mm -hmm. just like you mentioned last mm -hmm. week, um, even if you're if you're just doing it, you're you're sending a message to those who understand the message that you know I'm part of you. Yes. And you know it's it's very sad that uh, we we have this going on. Another example, uh, we've got Rihanna's umbrella. Yeah. Uh, the second verse says, "These fancy things will never come in between. You're part of my entity here for infinity." Mm. When the war has took its part, mm. when the world has dealt with um, its cards, mm. if the hand is hard, together we'll mend your heart. Mm -hmm. All of your material possessions will never separate me and you. Mm -hmm. You're part of my entity. I own you mm -hmm. until the end of times. Mm -hmm. When the crises have ravaged the world, mm -hmm. when we'll know the final outcome of the world, mm -hmm. if you're in trouble, me and you will stop the pain. Mm -hmm. And now... This message, if you just read it, mm -hmm. you may think that he is talking about you know, Jesus Christ, mm -hmm. you know, at the end of it oh, all, yeah. Jesus Christ saving you, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. okay, from all these pains and troubles and the like. Mm -hmm. But deep down in this message, you find that Rihanna is not talking about Jesus Christ. No, she's, she's not. Because this song, Umbrella, mm -hmm. okay, when do you use the umbrella? Mm -hmm when it's raining. Yeah. Okay? And now you're going to find that numerous musicians have sung about rain, but they haven't just sung about rain, but they have sung about the rain man. Mm -hmm. Close to 10 or 15, I think, of the musicians I know through documentaries and other things which I've seen, they're singing about the rain man. Mm -hmm. what's, the, 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 what's the essence of talking about the rain man? Who is this rain man? Mm -hmm. You look at the pictures which are being flashed on the screen, yeah, yeah. you realize that this rain man is none other than certain himself. Mm -hmm. Now, when you find Rihanna telling, up, telling us about whatever he has said in this song, Umbrella, mm -hmm. you find that he is talking about certain. Mm -hmm. But the question may be, how will certain help us as young people mm -hmm. in the end time crisis? Can he save us? No, he can't. He can't save us. And if Rihanna can be taken to his words that he will even stop the pain which will come with the final crisis, you will actually find that this is nothing but final damnation. Mm -hmm. That's how he, certain, is going to save many from pain. Mm -hmm. But is that the right way to be saved from that eternal damnation? No, no. Why not being saved from the pain and be with Jesus Christ in the holy city mm -hmm. when this, these fires shall burn all the people who have been lawless? Mm -hmm. So this message is also blasphemous yeah. because it's actually putting Jesus Christ at the same level with, with Satan. Satan. Mm -hmm. And uh, last week you mentioned as well, uh, so, uh, you, you just said uh, in Rihanna's uh, mm -hmm. video, yes. and we can see that in this picture, uh -huh. uh, you know, and then you also have uh, Baph Baphomet. Baphomet. Yes. I wasn't able to find the picture, uh, a clear picture, mm -hmm. but uh, in her music video, he was also uh, 
uh, flashed just somewhere there. Yes. Yeah. When you when you slow down the music video and you see the, because uh, in the music video when you watch it, there are a lot of flashes and there are a lot flashes. of. Uh, it's in black and white. And, and they you know? happen, you know, in a split of a second. Yeah. 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 Yes. yeah. And you can just see these flashes. Uh -huh. And um, let's look at another example. The weekend song. Uh, I can't feel my face. Uh -huh. um, I'll just read it quickly as well. And I know she'll be the death of me. At least we'll both be numb. And she'll always get the best of me. The worst is yet to come. Mm -hmm. But at least we'll both be beautiful and stay yet forever young. Mm -hmm. This I know, yeah, this I know. Mm -hmm. She told me, don't worry about it. She told me, don't worry no more. Mm -hmm. We both knew we can't go without it. Mm -hmm. She told me, you'll never be in love, oh, oh, oh. I can't feel my face when I'm with you, but I love it, I love it. What is he talking about? This is also talking about, you know, the same message which we have also seen, you mm -hmm. know, in that other song. Yeah. Because the person is telling the other person mm -hmm. not to worry about it, mm -hmm. not to worry no more. Mm -hmm. And showing the person that you can't do without it. Mm -hmm. What is the it? What is it? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Already, if you try to make sense of, what, of whatever he or she is saying she is saying you can't do without sex mm -hmm. and you will see that he says i can't feel my face when i'm with you but i love it i love it but i love it mm -hmm. this is also sending the message that many people you know are being sold into prostitution into careless sex into fornicating anyhow mm -hmm. where is this influence also coming from the more you listen to this music, yeah. the more you are obsessed, mm -hmm. the more you are shaken, mm -hmm. the more you, you, you begin to lose little by little your moral fiber, mm -hmm. the more you begin to indulge in easy sex. Say, for example, a young man finds this song online, you know, using our smartphones, you yeah, quickly copy yeah. it, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and you send it to any other young lady where you, with whom you'd like to flirt with. Mm -hmm. Okay, fine. If she has also a loose moral fiber, she receives it and you begin to talk about it. Before you know it, you'll be beginning to make an appointment for sex and before you realize you are into it. Mm -hmm. You are messed up. Mm -hmm. You have lost your soul. Just like that. Just like that. Mm. Uh, I've got uh, two more examples. Okay. I remember this song. Uh, mm. I even put it as my ringtone. <laughs> until one day I actually stopped the music and I was just singing it. Mm. Singing it um, and I go, wait a minute, yeah. what, what, what is this yeah, saying? yeah, and uh, you read the lyrics, um, I threw a wish in the well, don't ask me, I'll never tell, mm -hmm. I looked at you as it fell, and now you're in my way, I trade my soul for a wish, pennies and dimes for a kiss, mm -hmm. I wasn't looking for this, but now you're in my way, mm -hmm. and of course, uh, she goes on and on to, to say this, mm -hmm. but I believe that here, she's probably talking to, uh, I don't know, Satan or some demon or something, because clearly she even admits that I trade my soul so for a wish. wish. And uh, But then at the beginning she said, don't ask me, I'll never tell. Mm -hmm. So, you know, such, such songs. And I must say the song is pretty catchy mm -hmm. when, when you hear it, you okay. know. It's very, uh, it's very sunny, it really lights up the your mood. Itself. Yeah, the rhythm, the way she sings mm -hmm. it, uh, even the music video, it's okay. just, you know. But then when you listen to the words, mm -hmm. it's... What are you saying? <laughs> yeah, and you look at that, at, at, at that line which is saying, I trade my soul for a wish. Mm -hmm. Pennies and dimes for a wish. Mm -hmm. You actually see that this person is saying, I have traded my soul mm -hmm. simply because I want money. Yeah. You can actually see. And uh, this, uh, this, this, this musician is Jepsen, isn't it? Yes, yes. But he is not the only one. I've also heard other musicians like DMX, mm -hmm. Kanye West, mm -hmm. telling their, 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 their fans, yeah. I have sold my soul for the devil. Mm -hmm. And the Bible tells us clearly, more especially on, a, on a Mark, Mark chapter 8, verse 36, the Bible says, What shall it profit a man mm -hmm. if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? And you see, this is a stark contrast. Yeah. Because we see people who are saying, we have traded our souls simply because we want money. Mm -hmm. And there is this other musician, I've forgotten his name, he talks about dollar, dollar, bill, yo. You uh -huh. know? <laughs> uh, I've forgotten his name as well, but yes, I know the song. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> it's all about money. Mm -hmm. 
It's all about money. People would like to have whatever it takes, even if, if it means doing this at the expense of their own souls. And this is very pathetic. It is very and pathetic. It, time and again, let's remember that it's the young people, it's us who are listening to, this, to these types of music. If our young people, if we continue listening to these songs, what are we saying? Jesus Christ died for nothing. I cannot be saved by his blood. Mm -hmm. I would rather have money, even though I lose my own life. Mm -hmm. So, it's all about money, money, money. Trade your soul, but at the end of the day, you lose it. And uh, that brings us to our last example. I was actually pretty disappointed. Uh, Tori Kelly is funny in her new album, Unbreakable Smile. Okay. Uh, she sings, it's so easy to lose, your, um, to lose all, me, all the meaning of who you are. Mm -hmm. What is your definition of true superstar? Mm -hmm. Is it beauty? Is it money? Is it power? Mm -hmm. Is it fame? Mm -hmm. Are you in it for the glory? Mm -hmm. What's the purpose? Mm -hmm. What's the game? Mm -hmm. Everything you ever wanted got you tied up in chains. Mm -hmm. Be careful how you play the game. Mm -hmm. Because the same things that chose you are the same things that own you. The okay. same thing that built you is the same thing that kills you. Mm -hmm. The same ones that praise you are the same ones that hate mm -hmm. you. Funny how it all goes around. Mm -hmm. And then she, and in the chorus it goes, if you lose your soul, you lose it all. Mm -hmm. If you're at the top, then brace for the fall. Mm -hmm. Surrounded by faces, but no one to call. Funny how it all goes around. Mm -hmm. And this clearly shows that um, it seems like she's telling a story mm -hmm. that at the beginning, um, she's heard of these things probably yes, you know talk. yeah you uh, um, you know if you if you want to 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 get there you have to do certain things mm -hmm. and um, it's said that if you for anyone to become really famous um, in Hollywood you have to trade your soul mm -hmm. clearly it sounds like she didn't want to in the first place mm -hmm. but sounds like maybe she's uh, she's done it mm -hmm. and now she's regretting mm -hmm. because now she's realized um the consequences because now she's thinking mm -hmm. what do i do mm -hmm. um i can't get out of this mm -hmm. because the same thing that built you is the same thing that's going to kill you uh -huh. and uh you know if you lose your soul you lose it all then mm -hmm. and if you're at the top then mm -hmm. brace for the fall because once fall. you once you leave mm -hmm. then you're going to be destroyed yeah you're going to be destroyed and that's exactly what michael jackson said mm -hmm. when he realized that uh, the top people in the music industry, but also the Illuminati, yeah. were just using him. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. he told an audience in London mm -hmm. that the story of superstars mm -hmm. is always the same. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay? There are some people who manage them up to the top. Okay? Mm -hmm. They're there just to be used, just to make millions of US dollars for them. Yeah. Yeah. But their end is the same. That's, mm -hmm. This is what Michael Jackson himself said that they end the same way. And it's not just Michael Jackson. Even Michael Jackson's own sister, when she heard that Michael Jackson had died, she also said the same thing. Mm -hmm. The story of superstars, the it ends the same. Mm -hmm. And what did Michael Jackson do? When he realized that he was simply being used in order to generate money, but at the end of the day, he was losing his own soul, he decided to, to part ways with Sony. And he actually called this, the, the director of Sony at that time, Tony Motola. That Tony Motola is a devil. Mm -hmm. What did they do when they realized that Michael Jackson had decided to part ways with them? Mm -hmm. They began to destroy him. They did not sell the next album, which came out. And in that album, he sang a song, Unbreakable. Mm -hmm. If you listen to this song, Unbreakable, mm -hmm. you find that the message which Tori, uh, Tori Kelly is saying, and the message in the song, Unbreakable, mm -hmm sung by, by Michael Jackson, the message is the same. Mm. Because Michael Jackson in this video is shown as crucified on the cross. Demons all around him saying how it is hard to break free. Mm. So you get to the top, it's, even if you fall, you can't just break free. Yeah, you you die in these things. Mm. So this is shocking. Very shocking, and this must send a message to us young people to be very, very careful. People are doing this for sinister purposes and not to glorify God, which is the sole purpose why music must be there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
just in closing, I'd like for you to just advise to our viewer mm -hmm. um, that what should we do then? What kind of music should we listen to then? Mm -hmm. um, what can we do about um, about these situations? Mm -hmm. That sort of thing. Just uh, quickly, what would you say to, to our viewer? Okay, to the viewer, let me say it very, very quickly. The watch word in all these things is worship. Yes. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, Satan is also pushing through to be worshipped, while God would also like to be worshipped. Mm -hmm. So, at the end of the day, the type of, of music you subscribe yourself to will also define mm -hmm. who you are worshipping at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. You may say you are a Christian, yeah. but if your music is eclectic, which combines the Christian and the, 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 the secular, and you kind of justify to say you are okay, mm -hmm. I'm sorry to say, at the end of the day, you may find that you are on the wrong side. Mm -hmm. Because good music has the sole purpose of glorifying God. Let me this read this quote as we close. Mm -hmm. That's so, this is from the Spirit of Prophecy, Volume 1, page 594. It says, Music was made to serve a holy purpose, yes. to uplift the thoughts to that which is pure, noble, and elevating, to awaken in the soul devotion and gratitude to God. Mm -hmm. What so, a contrast between ancient custom that uses to which music is now so often devoted. Mm -hmm. How many employ this gift to exhort self instead uh, of using it to glorify God? Mm -hmm. So my word to our nation, to our young people, to the church out there, to our viewers is let's use music solely mm -hmm. to glorify God. Mm -hmm. Let our music bring exhortation to him mm -hmm. and make us true worshippers in spirit. Thank you so, so much, Pastor. Thank you so much, Adela. It's been a pleasure being with you mm. in this program. Mm -hmm. Likewise. God bless you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. So I hope that this program has blessed you and that, and I hope that you'll take this message and that you'll use it uh, to help yourself find better music and that uh, you will also help your friends as well and that you'll make good decisions on uh, your choice of music. You're with me, your host Adela Chokoto and Pastor Saned Lubani. And if you have any questions, any comments, or you'd like some more material, some more information on this topic, or maybe some previous topics, please do not hesitate to send us a message on our page on Facebook at Energade. And we'll leave you with a song sung by Kamwana family entitled Yesu, Yesu.